Okay, so we all love carrying around a point and shoot camera, right? But um, it doesn't have as much control as you know an SLR or something like that, which is also the beauty of it because you can toss it in your bag. It's very small and compact, and um, you also don't have to do any thinking, right? It does all the thinking for you. But sometimes you may want to change the ISO on your film just to overexpose that film a little bit or maybe even underexpose it. And so I'm going to show you how you can do that on a point and shoot camera that doesn't actually have any of those controls. Okay, so first of all, what is the DX code? The DX code on the film canister is this little series of um, aluminum and uh, black squares that makes a little code that the camera reads. So if you can see in here, um, there are these little metal receptors there. And when you put the film in, it goes up against that. And then it the, tells the camera that this is 400 ISO with 36 exposures. Um, and so it lets you take that many pictures. So when we want to alter that with the DX code stickers, we have a couple different kinds here. So we have ISO 100, 400, 200. They had 800 and other levels as well, but I just got these three. And then as you can see, it has like 36 exposures um, and you know, 12 exposures so that you can tell the camera what it is using. Okay, so here you have it. I put on one of the ISO 200 36 exposure stickers, and now I can just pop it into the camera, and the camera will read that instead of the ISO 400, and I'll be all set. One other thing to note is that, you know, maybe you start on a point and shoot camera and you're thinking, okay, I'm a little, you know, more knowledgeable about the craft now and I need to upgrade to a better camera to get more control, you know, looking at like, you know, something more expensive. Um, this would be a really inexpensive way to just get a little more control out of your point and shoot camera that you already have before you decide that you want to invest in something um, with more uh, user control. So that's just something to think about as well. I will put the link to those in the description so you know where to find them if you ever want to play around um, with ISO on your point and shoot camera.